Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1969 Pontiac Bonneville powered by a 428 power top, cold air, and it's been restored. If you guys want to find out full details, click on the link below. That's going to have underside shots, a full gallery, and this awesome test drive. Let's do it. Let's start off with the overall condition. I'd rate this easily an eight and a half to nine out of 10. It has been restored. It was restored in 2018 by the individual we purchased it from. And then it sat for several years. We purchased it. We sent it to Keese Rods and Customs. They completely serviced it. We put brand new tires on it. They checked all the brakes, replaced all the fluids, repaired some leaks that it had in regards to the transmission, fixed the air condition, um, and it's ready to go. Power top, all the power windows work with the exception of the passenger rear it works but you have to work it with the switch from the rear section overall condition when you look down the side so you can look down the driver's side real quick and see how straight it is this is almost 19 and a half feet long and it shows very well no waviness all of your badges are nice your chrome is show quality and shows very well all of your lights operate the top is in excellent condition this was re replaced in 2018 and it shows very well glass in the rear Interior is very nice. All of your fenders are even throughout. Your Pontiac Bonneville insignias on the side show very well. And the tires are brand new. And we did go after the thin white walls, which I love with the, with the top and the interior. Bright work on your door trim. Has a little bit of oxidation, but not bad. These are definitely original. And the paint is even throughout. So when you look at the paint, they took all the gaskets off and replaced it. All of your door edges are very nice. Door card does have some imperfections. So it looks like this door card used to be black and they actually painted it this beautiful white. And they added the white center sections with the Broham insignia right here. It does have a set of aftermarket speakers for the front doors and an aftermarket radio that's in the dash and it sounds great. Your steering wheel has been replaced with a wooden steering wheel and I think it fits perfectly with the period. Your dash has no cracks. The only thing I notice is the wood trim on the passenger side is starting to show oxidation. Seats are very comfortable and very nice. Your power seats work, your tilt works, and lowering it and raising it works as well. You can pull the back seat by releasing this and you can see all the seat belts were replaced in 2017. Rear seats are very nice. The roof, if you look at the soft top or the convertible top, it's very nice as well. And it goes down easily. Your striker is very nice and all the plastics were removed for paint. This does come with a plethora of parts as well. And I'm gonna show you that shortly. Deck lid's very nice. It's almost the same size as the hood in the back over here. Your Bonneville insignia is very clean. Uh, tail lights show very well, but there is minor imperfections. So like the plastic's starting to show its age because this is original. When I open up the trunk, we're going to have a whole bunch of items in here that are going to be included. So we have a cover. Um, the carburetor, I believe, was replaced on this one, so that's going to be included as well. The blower fan, that's what we replaced. You do have a, a boot for the actual top, which is going to be included, and we'll have that in the gallery so you can see what it looks like. A lot of additional pieces that are going to be beneficial because it is difficult to find parts for these sometimes. What's in this one? There's the water pump. Water pump was done. And then look at all the metal throughout the trunk and all the fasteners. Very clean, very tidy. Your corner edges are very nice as well if you look at those two edges. Rubber seals are nice. And there's no rattling. Closes nicely. Passenger side quarter is huge. Same as the driver's side quarter. You do have fender skirts that are removable, but it looks so good with the fender skirts on. All of your trim throughout, so your door protection trim is very nice. All of your window trim and felts have been replaced and it looks great. Passenger side door is very clean with the pinch weld visible. You do have the carpet that matches on the bottom of the door card, along with the pole that's been painted. This side's much nicer than the driver's side because obviously if you're driving the car, you're gonna put more wear into it. When I op open up the rear, you're going to see this is the first thing I look at for a classic car. I pull the seat up to see how all the condition of the components are in here. And this is very, very nice. Glove box is clean. You do have the radio holder. And then the light inside the dash is operating as well. And my favorite part, listen to these pipes. 
So this is a 428 with a four barrel. No smoke, no hesitation. And it just sounds so good. Let's put the top down and we'll take it for a test drive. Oh, I need to show you the motor. Come on. Listen to this thing. Oh yeah. To open the hood, there is a small lever you're gonna pull that's gonna release the hood. And then you're gonna pull it again, and this is a heavy one. And you lift it up. Engine bay is very tidy. Hoses have been replaced. Engine was painted, obviously, when it was redone. And that's the best air condition system you can get. This is a Harrison uh, system. And then the compressor, these things will live longer than the car. Radiator is very nice. Obviously, they did the water pump. Uh, alternator was done as well. New battery. The list goes on. And we'll have a breakdown of all the stuff that was done to it, all the work that was performed in the listing below. So click on the link. It'll have everything you need to know. Let me put the top down and we'll take it for a spin. I think we should leave the top down for the whole drive. Listen to how the door is closed too. It's just music, nice and solid. Starting it up, you're gonna release the tops here. You even have the, the item right here for how to start your vehicle. This is just an aftermarket, you could buy this, but it looks good there. Release these. And then you go up. There we go, I went the wrong way. Top goes down easily. I like to stop them in this position to show you that the hydraulics are still holding in place. It's not sagging, it's not going down. And you can continue on with the journey of the top going into its resting place. We do have the parade, uh, like the cover for it as well, and that's included, it's in the trunk. All the windows operate. Let's do the back windows. And then that one. So this one operates going up, but if I try to go down, I actually have to use the rear section button. So there is a contact issue on that one switch. Just being honest with you, that's what we're here for. Look up our reviews on Bullet Motorsports. We sell nothing but niche market vehicles over the internet. So these videos are to showcase exactly how they are, if you have any questions, you can call us and we can go get, take additional pictures. But once these cars are listed up, they stay on a storage rack until they're sold or until you come to pick it up or we ship it out for you because we yeah. offer those services as well. Jump in it, let's go for a ride. We're taking this beautiful 69 out for a test drive. It's powered by a 428, recently serviced by Keith Rods and Customs. The brakes feel great. Everything on the dash is working, so our gas gauge is working. We just put about five gallons in it and it did barely moved. <laughs> Clock doesn't operate, our AC does work. So AC blows cold, they did service it. it. Does have an aftermarket Alpine head unit with two speakers in the doors. Your visors are still tight so they're not blowing everywhere with the wind. We're gonna take it on to Marina Mile. It's a little bit late in the day, so it's close to five, so we're gonna have some traffic. But hopefully you can see this big blue beauty go down Marina Mile. We've got Raf next to us here. He takes care of all of our overseas acquisitions and uh, we're working on a uh, 240 GD that's coming in from Poland. And a 290 pickup truck. And a 290 pickup as well. <laughs> so she uh, grabs attention on the road. That's yeah, for sure. it sure does. If you guys have any questions about this ride, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Door cards are nice. As I said, all the windows are operating with the exception of the rear passenger one. You have to use the switch in the back to go down, but up works on the main panel. So I think it's a connection issue. Dash is very nice. I have the air blowing cold, but it's beautiful here in Florida today. I believe it's 69 or 70 degrees. Oh, it was great this morning, 57. 50, yeah, 50, well, you're in Boca. That's 20 miles away. Just swerving and cru cruising. Wow, crazy mama. She must be for Boca. Probably. It's, it's prime time for people to get home. Lovely. It's nice out today. It feels like summer in Poland. The best part is the power top on it. Power top works excellent. We had it serviced. Um, paint, I'm sure you're seeing it right now. It is stunning in the sun. We're going to go over the Marina Mile Bridge, do a U-turn, and then we'll bring it to our back road so you can see 
it in all of its glory. Once again, if you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261 and we'll help you out. Turn signal's working as it should. We're taking a left here. We're doing it a little bit different today because of all the traffic. We're gonna go over the, the bumps here so you can actually see how the suspension reacts. All of our lights operate. I just turned the lights on, no issues at all. A lot of torque. You can feel the torque on this one. Here comes the first set of bumps. There's two consecutive bumps and then a big dip. You don't even feel it. It's like, woo! It's nice and smooth. Right now we're cruising at 50 miles per hour with no issues, extremely smooth, a lot of pep. Carburetor feels great. You could smell or you could feel the gasoline getting sucked through it. Oh. Going over some bumps with no issues. This is a great car to fly in and drive home. We're five minutes from the Fort Lauderdale Airport, so if you want to fly in, you're more than welcome to do so, and we'll get you taken care of. We're going to turn around here, get you guys some additional shots. If you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to click like and subscribe, because that's going to give you guys more great vehicles like this and more content like this. Thank you.